Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So in the past couple years, I've been telling myself, stop being a wheel whore. Just whoring it up with wheels. I keep going through sets, buying them, selling them, buying them, and selling them. Stop it. Get some help. I ended up selling two or three pairs so that I can have one set for winter and one set for the rest of the year. Now I'm slowly back at it again and I got myself a new set of wheels. I've actually had these wheels for a few months now. I wasn't looking for wheels at the time but I came across it and I just had to buy it. These are one of the most iconic Japanese wheels. You guys probably know what it is and I'm making this video because I end up failing on a project. Not one but two, after taking two L's, I kind of want to win, guys. And one of my buddies that helps me out with mounting tires, he's free today, so he's going to be mounting them. And why am I mounting it now? You guys know my CR Kai reps. Love those wheels. They are on a heavy side, though, because they're reps. I was losing a lot of tire pressure, and I wasn't sure where it's coming from. So I took the wheel off, checked for any nails in a tire, and nothing was on a tire. So I was super confused sprayed some soapy water everywhere and found out yep there's a crack on the wheel i was losing about 10 to 15 psi a day so i had to fill up the wheel with air every single day i tried to repair it myself with some jb weld and that helped a little bit i was just tired of it and we still have a little bit of months until winter is coming and i wasn't ready to throw on the type s wheels which are my winter wheels so now after these are mounted i have three sets so let me go show you what happened with the white wheel and here's the tl real quick so yep failed on two products projects uh, it's on jack stand so really easy to mount the wheels but here's that white wheel that has a crack on it looks perfectly fine right no damage nothing like that here's the tire no nails or anything but looking at the back you can already see you know just small scratches that's nothing but when I sprayed soap it was bubbling up right here so that's where it was coming from and as you can see i tried to repair it with some jb weld i put some pressure on the tire like that kind of applied jb weld and yeah it helped a little bit like i said but yeah i'm gonna have to figure this out so this is gonna be in storage i was hoping to rock these until november at the very least but at least we have another set And you already got the wheels and tires already loaded in the help back. And these are the tires. I am going with some Vercelli Stratus 2s. They seem to be good bang for buck. These are 235, 40 by 18. It's got a fresh set. All right, I won't show them yet, but yep. One, two, three, and four, ready to go. So I'm just waiting for my buddy to get out of work. Don't want to keep you guys waiting and I'll show you guys the final wheel reveal after it's been, tires been mounted and the wheels have been mounted on the car. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yo guys, these look so good. I don't know why I didn't get these wheels earlier. Yo, they look so good, guys. So if you guys didn't know, these are the NK RPF ones. They're pretty much the most iconic aftermarket Japanese wheels ever. So talking about specs, these are an 18 by eight with a plus 35 offset. They're nothing too aggressive. Really wish I can go lower, guys. I really do. I think I have like a one finger gap here. Yeah, pretty much one finger. You guys know how bad the driveway is. I don't want to scrape every time. Paired up with the tire size, it's a really nice OEM setup. They're lightweight, definitely going to help me save gas. I'm really glad the wheel fits without any spacers. Having big brakes is kind of a gift and a curse. Kind of limited to certain wheel selections when you have big brakes, but these fit with no issues. So it's been a few days of driving on these wheels now and I gotta say this setup feels so good. Immediately I felt the steering is lighter. The car feels a little bit quicker too and that makes sense because lighter wheels equals less rotational mass. Tires are pretty good too. They got decent grip with almost no road noise. 
This is definitely gonna be my daily set, minus winter time. And also, I wish I went with some 245 wide tires just so I can get an extra grip around the corners. But really, that's just me nitpicking. Also, the RPF ones can really look different depending on the specs. These look more concave, more round versus other specs. So depending on the offset and width, it can have a deeper dish and pretty much look like a completely different wheel. So I'm gonna say it, I'm officially a fanboy of the RPF ones now. Not only it looks great, but I'm a big fan of the lightweight performance. I've always liked this wheel and respected it, but I've never wanted it just due to the fact that so many people have this wheel but i understand now now it's time to save up for the specs that i want i absolutely love 18s on the tl and i'm thinking going nine wide let me know what you guys think anyway guys that wraps it up for this video hope you guys enjoyed it. as always catch you on the next one peace